there is no let up or no stoppage of anti terrorist operations in the hinterland as you are aware even in the last 30 days the terrorists have been killed obliquely apprehended within the uh, valley as such so there is no let up on the anti terrorist operations i would request if mr munir khan wants to add something to it when we talk of anti militancy operations and you said it is because of blockade of the cell phones that operations are not being carried out that effectively. It's not true. Maybe the style of anti-militancy operations has changed. And you will be, at least I am pleased to know and uh, pleased to tell you that we are getting more of the surrenders. And we have got lot many surrenders during this period. And uh, when a local gallery surrenders, it is, I think, is greater success than getting encounters. So we are working on those lines also, and we are getting good success in that. Nothing to worry on that count that operations are not happening. Operations are happening. And good operations are happening. I think first I should reply to the question. Who told you he got injured in shelling? No, I didn't hear it. When you are asking a question, you should be very specific. You are a very old journalist here. No shelling, no pellet injuries. He was hit by a stone. And I am very sure about it. Okay. I will amplify on this. Asrar Ahmed Khan, the boy, 18 to 19 years of age, of Ilahi Bad, 9 feet, 90 feet road, who was hit by a stone on 6th of August and admitted in Sora, he has come to his death today. And this makes it fifth civilian death in last 30 days. It may be Noor Mahmud Dar, who was a driver who was hit in the stone pelting and died in Beach Bihara. It may be two Gujars, the Koli brothers, who were killed in the high mountains by the terrorists. Or it may be the shopkeeper, Gram uh, Parampura. Parampura. And this is the fifth death which has happened because of the terrorist to believe the stone pelters or the puppets of Pakistan trying to disrupt peace. There is not a single casualty which has happened in the last 30 days. And this is the most calmest period in the history of Kashmir, if I can say that. Calmest and the most peaceful 30 days from the point of view of civilian deaths if by the security forces or anyone, other things. All the deaths which have happened have happened.